Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sportsman News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is the next hockey video on the Edmonton Oilers. The Oilers um, pre or season preview. If you like the content, please subscribe down below or up above on the widget that makes it very easy at the end of the video. So, let's get right into it. This team, of course, has a veteran defenseman in Chris Russell that obviously you hope someone like Philippe Broberg um, emerges to be able to take eventually his role from him since he's a guy that only plays a limited amount at this point. You, of course, also got Slater Koku, who was a late emerger in his career. Looks like a nice defenseman. So you have him, and then you, of course, have William Legeeson, whose expected injury duration is undisclosed, according to um, Cap Friendly. And then another guy that is day-to-day -day in Zach Cassian that adds more size and spunk to the lineup when he's in. But what I like about this Edmonton Oilers team is you guys made some nice pickups, plus you got the guys like Connor McDavid and Dre you're always going to run through. Picked up Hyman, adds a huge thing to the offense, a much better player than than Chase on to fit in. Because you got to keep up with the Yamamoto's and Dre Siders of the world and Nugent Hopkins of the world who's even a quick skater himself. So he's going to be able to do that, plus provide more offense than Chase on. Warren Fogle is a very nice two-way player. Another guy that that's from that um from that uh, Carolina system that they play the very good defense down there. Just like Morgan Geeky, of course, was picked by Seattle. They have Warren Fogle, and that is a very nice pickup there as well. Brandon Perlini, like Pirlo said on his channel, he looked fine in preseason. Let's see what he does in the regular season. Kyle Turris has to really show something in order to probably stay in the lineup, since obviously there is different guys. That could knock him out um, in your minor leagues. Ryan McLeod is already projected to be up. So he obviously isn't one of them. But you do have Tyler Benson, who's a 23-year-old, who doesn't really have much more that he could do in the uh, in the AHL. Maybe just add a little bit more offense. Has good defensive prowess. So you could see him if Kyle Torres doesn't show much of anything. And then Colton Skeever, of course, is another veteran they added but I think this team is well put together it's just I think it's definitely better put together also than before when it comes to more depth scoring and not just having to run fully through Dre and McDavid Pirlo I saw also said the great Pirlo wisdom through the Steel Flyers um site as well said about Jesse Puyallvi that he looks really good after having a good season last year so maybe this will be his best season this year so this team is set. This has them projected as second in the Pacific. That's a good ranking for y'all. You're going to make the postseason. You're going to be in a good footing. The then question is, how are you going to do once you get in the postseason? Because Miko Koskinen, as I see all you Oilers fans complain about online, rightfully so, and in Twitter, is a very limited goaltender. Mike Smith played like a bat out of hell last year. How is he going to play now at 39 years old? You didn't get him any. And I'm not really concerned about Mike Smith. I'm concerned about... His age where he's at now, having to play as many games as he's going to have to play because you didn't get him that cushion and net behind him. You just have Miko Koskinen because, of course, um, they have a goaltender prospect in Ilya Konovalov, who I always mispronounce his name, so, but he has very good stats in the KHL. Um, he's probably ready for the next level, but he's, of course, not here yet, so you're not going to be able to throw him into the loop you, of course, have Alex Stalock as an as an option as well, but he's another guy that's only had one season. He kind of emerged and picked up a little bit, gave the Wild a little bit of a pick-me-up, but I think he might end up being the backup eventually just because of how limited Miko Koskinen is. So obviously, yet again, I say this every season in a season preview, it feels for the Edmonton Oilers, but I feel like eventually they might go out and get that backup goalie, get that other goalie, get that platoon goalie, like one of the other Peter Morazics of the world, like the Berniers, the other um, James Reimers of the world, just somebody that's a little bit better at least than Miko Koskinen, unless if Miko, Miko Koskinen is able to finally emerge and actually emerge as a 1B and not just a average run-of-the-mill backup that you can really get anywhere. So, I hope you all enjoyed this Edmonton Oilers season preview. I think Connor McDavid and Dre are going to compete for the Hart Trophy again. I think Paul Yarvey is going to be closer to the 50 points and up season and have a very productive season this year. And I also think eventually Slater Koku or Broberg or somebody is going to be in that lineup for a Chris Russell. And then you have to see, of course, when it comes to how far this team can go and how good they're going to do defensively how well guys like Duncan Keith 
move themselves into that defense. So again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Leon Dreisaitl, I believe, is going to kick butt again, my favorite player in the league. And then I think Connor McDavid is, of course, going to kill it again. He does it every year. Ryan Nugent Hopkins is going to have a chance with Hyman and Yamamoto, some of the best mates he's had in a long time. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Good luck to you, Edmonton Oilers fans. It's going to be a good season for you all. Just hopefully you go out and finally get a goaltender for you all because you're going to need to cushion Mike Smith a little bit more. And Koskinen is able to do maybe stay lock and step up like he did for the Wild the one season. But that's an if. It would be more nice to have a certain in the future. You don't need it now, but we'll see what happens as the season goes on. For now, second in the Pacific is definitely a good place to put this team and a good projection for them. So stay safe out there, everybody. Enjoy the NHL season. The hockey action has been great this far. Peace out, everybody.